All right, guys. So today I got some more robots in. This one's actually fixable, I believe. So do our initial checks when we get them in. Turn it on. Power's up, so it's got a battery. Bumper's free. Not too many dings. Got a filter in, so the suction motor's not bad. Sensor right there is good. Wheel down, wheel down. Spins. That oh, doesn't spin. So we have a right drive issue. Spins a little tight. Loosens up. Spins. Loose on one It's going to be tight on one side, loose on the other, depending on which way it spins. That spins. Those are clean. Not too bad. Roller's free. We won't know if the roller motor is good until we, until we test it. So, but we can test it with the, the wheel like this. So let's go ahead and get these uh, drive wheels on the right side. This screw is taken out. Sorry, I know my cleaning area is kind of a mess right now, or my repair area, and my take apart area. But, <clears throat> get that out of the frame so I don't gross anybody out. Uh, I just had a new baby born, so I haven't really had time to come in here and clean it up and get everything listed. It's out of stock, but I do have some wheels that have broken cases. So, depending on what the issue is when we get in here, we'll be able to fix it. Now, I wanted to make this video, even though I have replacing the drive wheel video, due to the fact that it's an unusual issue that the motor is stuck. So, go ahead and examine it. And I see the issue right off the rip. Let's see if I can get this to move enough. There's a rubber band wrapped around the wheel. Look at this. This is a new one for me. I have yet to ever see one of these. And how it's wrapped up, I have no idea. All right, so let's see if we can get this rubber band taken off without breaking it. Let's pop the cap off, pull that off, and hey, what do you know? Feels good. Oh, for everyone wondering, this is a sensor cap. Oh, let's see if I can pop that back off. No, let me do it on one that's broke. So, this is called sensor cap. There's a little little eye right there and when these go by it tells the computer how fast the wheel's moving if it's stuck if it's you know if anything's going on and that being right there clogging the wheel up it's not going to move so that was a pretty simple fix let's go ahead and this wheel put back in real quick test her out and see if she works Hopefully my camera skills are a little better today. I'm not hitting the camera, it doesn't seem like. I knocked my tripod over the other day and broke the... No, knocked this tripod over in the garage and broke the... the height adjustment. So I'll have to switch this tripod out for my, my other one. Oh, just hit the camera. Sorry, guys. So like we said before in other videos, there's five... T10 screws. I suggest if you're going to do repairs on yours, just pick up a uh, Torx bit kit, long shaft, skinny head, this. You don't want one that has adapters, they won't fit in the holes all the way. I'll leave a link in uh, the description below if you need certain tools. So be sure to check that out. 
And you can, if you're just trying to test this, you can just put one or two of these in and they'll, they'll uh, hold it pretty well. I find sometimes your magnetic tip won't go bad. Take a flat head and put it on the side that has a magnetic tip that's working. And do this. Be able to get it down in there on that one. Or you can just take the bumper off, either way. So let's go ahead and just see if it moves. Yeah, she moves, she sounds all right. So I'll have to do a 24 hour torture test on it, see if everything's good, but if not, she's good to go.